Some of your movie clips will automatically play and some will be initially in a stop state. The automatic play is what is a default for a movie clip timeline. All you need to do is add a simple stop action to the first frame and that will keep you from playing automatically. Then you can add buttons to control further stopping and start actions. Here's our starting and completed example. The starting example when it was launched was automatically running and the completed example when it was launched is in a stop position and we can use the buttons on both of these to work the same as just how they start. So let's see how we make this. We'll open up the start file. And we'll save it with the name. And I'll call it practice. So let's examine what we have in this file. Let's look at the library first. And we have two flash button symbols. One is the play button and one is the stop button. These were gotten from the common libraries that Flash has. And we have a movie clip called Red Circle and one called Red Square. And inside of these is simply a shape. Right, if we take a look at the stage and come down near the timeline area, we see we have two motion tweens. Uh, one of them here is for the I'll hide these layers that are not appropriate right now and we can see we have a motion tween for the red square movie clip object and we have a motion tween for the red oval object and then we also have our buttons that are on the stage and so let's take a look at those buttons and we'll come up here to their properties and you can see they have instance names so we can use them in action script that's the play button and the stop button its instance name is stop underscore button and when we play this movie the very first thing that happens is that it starts playing and we can use the stop and play button to control it okay let's take a look at the first layer which is our action script layer and its name is abbreviated to AS and we'll just right mouse click over this and choose actions as the first keyframe on the actions layer and I'll close the left hand side panel and we can see that there is the spoiler plate template uh, example for handling a mouse click for a button and that's the first one is for the play button and the second one's for the stop button and the actions are very simply play and stop so these uh, two template codes are loaded at the first frame and then the buttons can react to them we can also in the first frame either before or between or after I would prefer before is simply put a stop action in and so that'll be the first line that's processed in the first frame it'll just stop all the action that's going on on this timeline in other words the scene one timeline and then the play button and the stop button are set up to respond to mouse clicks so let's test that with the control test movie and we can see now the animations are stopped or the timeline is stopped and of course we can use the buttons to continue playing them. The one thing you'll notice that the it stops and only plays one time and this is the result of the playback head going back to frame one where there's a stop action. That was easy. All we did was add a stop action to the first frame of the timeline that we did not want to play automatically and then thereafter we just used the stop and start buttons to control the playback head for our animation.